Well, good afternoon to you. Things have been uh, building up very nicely over the last couple of days in the lead-up to this game. But as you can see on screen, the last couple of hours are a rather different story. The weather has decided not to play ball, and the conditions in the moments heading up towards kickoff here are a long, long way from ideal. Heavy rain. The players, even as they leave the tunnel, very quickly looking bedraggled. And the pitch is going to become heavy very, very quickly. It's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be the same for both sides. And the game is on the way in a moment or two from now. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Lorient have gone with what looks like an orthodox 4-4-2, Jim. Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. As you can see, we've already started here. Up for a throw. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. It's wrestled off the ball. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. An adventurous run from a defender. He's left his man. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Aimed long and direct. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempt, zero goals, and uh, excitement. Forget it. He's got away. Just brushed off the ball there. He's come loose. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? A really good feat from him. 
Promising cross. Knocks it away. Teacher averted for now. Swept in. Can he put it away? Decent enough try. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. to dink one in tries it out of harm's way looks to clip it forward and that's been levered clear played into the has a swing at it good effort and it is right on half time Lorient, glad to have a one-goal lead at this point, but you have to say things could have been very different. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Lorient, happy to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. That gets things going for the second half. Lorient really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Still separated by the game's only goal. Forward it goes. Plays it long. Oh, flags up. He must have been offside. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Tries to get it forward quickly. It out to the wing. Oh, throw in. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Now, can he capitalise? Oh, well, this has gone, that's a foul. And he has shown him a yellow card. He's trying the shot. <laughs> the 
and he just whacks it away. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. It's gone a long way up and away. So, the manager making the last of his changes. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. He's got options out wide. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. And the weighted pass. Oh, he's in! Nice touch. Now, big chance! They've scored! And surely that clinches it! There really is no way back now! Oh, high-quality goal. Lovely first touch. Sumptuous second. Lorient could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Plays it out to the flank. And time is up. Lorient always looked the more driven side, probably the better side, and nobody is arguing about the results. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That is the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and goodbye.